Rick, just, uh, you know, I think a lot of people wait to see just the emotions, the, you know, the, a lot of a lot of pent up stuff for you guys just to get started again and, and how you guys handled it right from the start. I thought we handled it well. Um, you know, t to be honest, I felt like, uh, you know, we had control of the match. Um, obviously, they were extremely dangerous in offensive transition. And, and it caught us off guard a couple of times, but I think we were the team, um, you know, really looking to uh, to dictate the play. And so I'm happy about that, especially in this atmosphere, where you know the supporters are fantastic. It was a hostile atmosphere, and you know we looked to control the game and, and move the tempo. It's finishing the. Maybe the difference here, I mean, your possession numbers are really good. And I, I think so. I think it's, um, you know, we had a couple opportunities in the second half that, you know, should have should have been played out better or could have been played out better. And, um, you know, some of the precision that you'd expect early in the season. But in terms of the attitude, in terms of the, the um, I think, the, uh, the thought and what we wanted to do, I was happy with that. You had... Uh, Early in the first half, a lot of free kicks around the box. Valeri uh, connects on. The yeah. Ball. What to, you know, it was kind of a run of those there. Was it just sort of last ditch defending that? No, I, I actually think it was, um, you know, a little bit of sloppiness, a little bit of rust. We're in there. We're in good position where it's two against one and, um, you know, no reason to foul. And, you know, we gave up silly fouls. That was part of the message at halftime was we have to limit that because we, we know they're good at set pieces. Valeri, um, you know, one of the best in the league. Yeah, and the counter was fantastic. It, it really was good. Um, you know, both Milano and Espria had had good games in the counter attack. You know, I was a bit surprised. You know, that the defending champs played like that at home. But you know, it's it's not my team, and they won the game. So you know, obviously it worked. Will they? You know, both flanks at times they were coming up highway one. I mean, were you guys are taking it back a little bit by the. I wouldn't say taking it back. Um, we knew that they like to play on the break. They're they're strong in um, offensive transition, but um, we lose the ball in bad spots, and um, it's it's you have to kind of play damage control a little bit at that point. And um, like Greg said, I thought Espria and Milano had had excellent games, and um, when those guys are flying, they're pacey and um, pretty smart with their runs. Greg, it seemed like you were able to get feeling the ball a little bit more isolated one-on-one -on -one in the second half. How did, how did you guys accomplish that? Um, I, I think part of his his positioning, um, you know, pulling a little wider. Uh, you know, we want to focus on getting him behind, behind the back line, um, not necessarily isolated 1v1. Um, but, you know, because Harrison tucked in sometimes, it, it gave Ethan some space wide, and we were able to find him. But. Um, you know, overall, we we like to see him really getting behind the defense, and um, you know, it's that precision that we lack today a little bit. He did find Higuain finally. Uh, just you know, I know you've you've talked a lot about the the talent, the skill that uh, that he has, but uh, when you see a finish like that, do you just kind of shake your head a little bit. Well, you guys will finally start believing me. <laughs> now he's talented. I'll tell you what, he's he's a special player. Yeah, yeah. Um, other than not winning, um, is this the way you want to start a season in this kind of atmosphere? And just to, gives you, you know, a good feeling about where soccer is? Well, absolutely. I think, you know, for us, it was it was a good opportunity. Um, you play in a hostile environment, you get to see where you are right away. And like I said, um, you know, we had intentions to come control the game. And, and, you know, for the most part, we accomplished that. I think we, you know, we could have done a better job of controlling defensive transition, limiting some of the damage there. Um, you know, but it's a good mindset. I think that, you know, the guys were proactive. They wanted to play. They wanted to push the tempo. And, and I'm happy with that. It's not easy to do that at, at, um, in Portland, but we, we certainly did. Will, you, you leave with no points, but I mean, just to come into this atmosphere to play a game like that in the long run, could this be a, a good thing for this team? Yeah, it's a great opportunity to come here in front of a hostile crowd and start the season off. Um, obviously, every game you want to play, you want to you want to win. Um, but I think moving into our home opener next next week, um, we ha we're stronger from this performance. Um, Greg touched on we had we had a lot of good things that happened in this game, and um, it's something to build off. Obviously, it's not going to be as sharp as you want the first game of the season, but um, we're moving forward and, and looking forward to Philly next week. Last question, please. 
All right, thank you. Yep, go ahead. Um, it, it seemed like obviously Adi's a powerful player, Esprit is a powerful player. Yeah. Is there any concern going forward about being able to handle those guys a little bit better? How many guys are like Adi in the league? And, and he's out west, so we don't see him again. Um, you know, it, listen, he's a big, big boy. He uses his body really well. Um, you know, and like I said, there's not, not too many guys in this league like him. So, um, you know, but having said that, you know, I, I think it should be clear. We're disappointed with the result. You know, we're not happy that we lost this game. And, um, you know, and to your point, we could have dealt with Adi better in, situ in certain situations. Um, more physical, you know. We have we have physical guys as well. Gaston's extremely physical. You know, Mikey's very smart tactically. I think we could have done a better job, um, you know, preventing some of these defensive transitions. And um, you know that we're going to look at and we're going to address.